Hey everybody, it's Friday, so it must be a buy day, and I wanted to take you to Lancaster to the historic Water Street Bindery. This building here has been a book bindery since at least the 1840s. And I want you to come on in and meet my friend Tony Haverstick, who is the proprietor who does all the amazing restoration work here. We're gonna come all the way in. And uh, this is Tony. He says hi. Hi. Uh, this building is particularly interesting because it's it's sort of in the original state that it was in in the 19th century. Um, and if you look here on the wall, you can see some examples of some of the books that were bound by the binder who lived here in the 19th century. And now we're going to come over and we're going to look at some of the books that Tony has just bound for me. When uh, when we go to a book binder. We often go because the books that we have are not in contemporary bindings. So I want to start with a book that originally had a library binding. It looked a bit like this. It was a beautiful old book, but um, unfortunately, it didn't have any real appeal. This book was published in 1649, and it's a famous book because it was published after the beheading of Charles I by Parliament um, in the aftermath of the English Revolution and is particularly famous because of this frontispiece portrait of Charles Prane. The book came out right after Charles was beheaded. It went through a number of different editions, and it was something of a collectible book if you, um, if you love the king. And so it was actually uh, dangerous to possess. And Tony has done a wonderful um, uh, uh, period binding for this in, um, in full leather. And, and that is an example of, of why we might uh, come to have a book redone. Another thing which Tony has done has to do with a different Charles who was king of France a hundred years earlier than, um, than our Charles I. This would be Charles IX. Charles IX was a boy king of France and he became king of France in, uh, in 1560. And this book was published, come on around, and you can see, in 1560. 65. Now, Charles became king at the age of 10, and this is exactly the type of book that he would have owned. Um, and what's interesting is it's both uh, an Aldean, which is a book published by Aldous Minutius and his heirs, but it is also um, signed Charles the King in France, in, in French. So uh, quite an amazing book. And Tony put the boards back on. He's restored the hinges and the paper. It's two volumes and now it's readable. And one of the things that was really interesting about this book was it had all of this what's called binder's waste. And these pieces of vellum uh, have to, or were basically used by the uh, original binders of the book as strengthening for the joints. And I asked him to save these as he was restoring it because you can read some of uh, some of these, and they may tie back to um, to the royal uh, ownership of Charles the Ninth, which we're trying to prove. All right, we're going to end today on a funny book. It's not a laugh out loud funny book, but it is funny to me. And this is neat because Tony made a box for this book by all um, uh, by all other means. It sort of looks like a book on a shelf, but when you open it up, it's a surprise. It is actually a box of an early pamphlet. And this book is particularly funny because it is the first climate change denier work in American <laughs> history. It was published in 1799 by Noah Webster, who's famous for his dictionary. But this book argues for the first time that global warming is in fact fake, that Thomas Jefferson is wrong, that all the scientists of the time are wrong. And uh, he basically says, we've got as much snowfall now as we've ever had, and don't worry about this deforestation. Um, uh, there's no such thing as global warming. And so obviously today, uh, when people have this climate change debate and they wanna deny global warming, they can go back to the number one dissertation by Noah Webster on the subject of change in temperature from 1799. So a really fun book. Thanks for watching. Uh, We'll see you next Friday and every Friday at noon on Bi-Day Friday.